So friends, we have already discussed about Laravel API. You can see in my playlist. So there are token based authentication using Laravel Sanctum. And few days ago, we have learned about Laravel Passport authentication. But in this video, I show you how to require Laravel Passport, how to migrate and after migrate, which type of tables are created. And after that, how to install Passport and all the related things and I will provide a link inside the description box but I forgot to show you how to log out from the passport so password using OAuth2 authentication and we have learned about how to register any user how to log in user but I have not show you how to log out so for this reason I have request to show the logout so very simple we are using the passport authentication so here in the auth.php the api driver is passport and we need to use that inside this so auth service provider and we are using the passport routes okay and in the user model we are using the laravel passport has api token so we'll use has api tokens and we can authenticate using this so here is my routes that is the api.php so basically for api purpose we are using the api.php so now i will show you how to log out so first in this section we can see how to log in so here i am passing some data so inside the body suppose john at the gmail.com and password is one two three four five six seven so in my database already we have this user so you can see john at the gmail.com so we can log in and can generate the token so click on send and it is showing the tokens that means it's login successfully so if login we can access the pages suppose we have a gate block page so here is the gate block page so here is the gate block link so using this token we can get access of gate block page so just pass this authorization barrier token and replace the previous token okay and click on send so we can see the data is coming from database okay so we can access this so if we write any mistake in these tokens means if the token is mismatching suppose i am rewriting with something and then it will not accessible okay so it will react to the login page so just undo this and click on send so we can get access but so during the login we can access this page but how we can log out so if we create a logout link suppose i am creating a logout link so as we are already logged in that means we are using the auth api so we need to use the logout inside this middleware so right here route middleware and we will use the auth api and here we will create a link that will be the post type and inside this we will create the logout link okay so this is the logout link and we will use the same controller that is the user controller okay so just copy from here and create a function that is logout okay so now we need to create the logout methods inside this user controller so just go to here so here after the login we will just create a public function logout okay and here we will accept the request dollar request so now we will use the token that is token equal to the request arrow user and will get token inside this function okay so using this we can get and now we need to revoke the token so just simply write the token arrow revoke so it will destroy the token so that means it will log out okay so now 
I will create a response code so write here response equal to so here I am writing a message and inside the message I am passing you have successfully log out okay so that's it and now we will return the response so write return response and we will pass the variable that is response and we will pass the status code that is 200 okay so now we need to create a link that is the logout link so here just go to the postman and create a link so i'm just copy from here and paste it here and we'll provide the link that is logout okay and as we are using the middleware that is the auth api so we need to use the token so when we logged in into a system we got this token and now we need to pass this with the authorization section so using the barrier token we are passing these things okay so i'm pasting so now click on send and it is showing the gate method not allow sorry here i am using the post method so just change the method that is the post and now click on send so you can see you have successfully log out now if you're going to access the gate block page so you react to the login page because we are already logged out okay so it is very simple to log out from passport so we need to just revoke the token so that's it so if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section and if you love this video please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day